Hey everyone, it's Justin Krieg from Historic Columbus with another episode of Tuesdays with Justin. Today I'm here at our office, the 1870 Historic Rankin House uh, at 1442 2nd Avenue. And I'm in front of um, one of our outbuildings. This is our carriage house. And a lot of houses here in the high uptown historic district have carriage houses or coach houses as they were sometimes called in the uh, mid to late 1800s through the early 1900s when they were common. But uh, to a certain extent, carriage houses were somewhat of a status symbol um, back in the late 1800s. It meant that you had some money, you had enough money to house a uh, not only a carriage, but also likely a horse or two along with a carriage driver. In most cases, carriage houses were two stories like the one you see here behind me. It's got uh, carriage doors, which our carriage house here at the Rankin House still has its original hardware and door configuration. The doors have been rebuilt. But like I said, in most cases, they were two stories. One for the uh, the first story was to house the actual carriage itself. And then upstairs, in most cases, uh, those were used as living quarters for the carriage driver um, himself. They were situated, separated from the building, from the main structure. And in a lot of cases, they emulated some of the similar architecture that was found on the primary structure on the property. So if you had a brick house, normally the carriage house was made out of brick, like you see here behind me. There are a couple other carriage houses that are original to uh, the properties in the high uptown historic district. One right next uh, to us at the Ilgis Woodruff House, um, just to the south of our office here at the Rankin House, and then one uh, another block or so down. But uh, they're really pretty interesting structures nowadays. In a lot of cases, they're repurposed for different uses. Uh, ours here, we've renovated and we lease it out to a, um, a videography business. And, um, and some of the others in the neighborhood are used for short-term rentals, Airbnbs, things like that, small office space. They're, uh, they're pretty unique structures. They're not something that uh, people typically build today because nobody's using carriages. Most of these carriage structures were, um, were commonplace, like I said, in the late 1800s, but by the, uh, the early 1900s, they were being built less and less because the advent of the motorized carriage and ultimately the car and people started building separate garages that were a little bit larger in scale and one story. So that's a little bit of history about carriage houses or coach houses. And with that, we'll see you next Tuesday.